I've got this process that I use when I test websites. I can do Python 3 and I can obviously import requests and then I can build a method list of web server methods and then I can even do this, right? For method in method list, like he's got here, call that request equals request dot request method. Okay, and now I can print each of the methods that are supported by the web server. I hit enter. And now do you see how he connected to the web server? and he tried every single method that was supported. And then he wrote back for each method, the status code and the reason. You're not allowed to do a post method directly to google.com. When you've got parameter passing in the address bar like this, we call that a get request. That's a get. Now, what if when you click a page, all you have is the page name, but no parameter passing? That's a post request. Most people are only familiar with get and post, but there's so many other methods, and a lot of the other methods are insecure. You definitely don't want someone to have the put method because they can upload a file. You definitely don't want somebody to have the delete method because they can delete content from the web server. You definitely don't want somebody to have the options method because now they can understand what the server is capable of doing. And you don't want someone to have the trace method because now they can record traffic. you can now see how programmatically you might want to write a security testing tool that checks these methods. Do you have this banner grab.py? I want to connect to the port and when I connect to port 80, I'm going to send it a get request slash HTTP 1.1. It's literally what I would do this way. In cat, that IP address, port 80, get slash HTTP. And I hit enter two times. When I do that, do you guys see what it's telling me? So this is a banner grab. I'm just using some Python code to do the exact same thing. Same thing, that's literally the same thing. I hit enter two times. Now, just like we did methods, you've got another vulnerability called cross-site tracing. So cross-site tracing is just if the trace method is available and you're able to do a trace to 1.1. If we can do that, we want to say that cross-site tracing is possible. import request here's my method list got that now I'm gonna grab these okay you should print out each of the methods it's like crazy insecure I found it because I was on the internet and I did this I did um, in URL like this and it came up as one of the pages where you could read the password file, look. So I figured that'd be a great candidate to check if its server configurations were bad. And obviously, yeah, it's very bad. You can upload and download files and delete stuff and that's bad. Now I should be able to do if method equals that. 
Now print cross site tracing is possible. Do you see how it comes back? And on that website, cross site tracing is possible. Okay. So down here, we've got this cross site tracing.py, right? So xst.py, that's what this one is. Paste all that in there. Okay. And you can see my server. And you're noticing what? The put method is allowed. The only one I don't have, I don't allow trace method. And you see how like it would print out, it's the combination of the two things we did. It would print out all the methods that are available. And then if the trace method is available and you can do that trace request, it would tell you cross-site tracing is possible.